OK, so if you think you've understood the if command and the digital input, what you're going to try and do next is adapt your previous traffic light program to turn it into a pedestrian crossing. You'll notice that LEDs 7 and 8 on the tutorial board are red and green. These represent the red man and the green man pedestrian indicators at pedestrian crossing. I would suggest you use LEDs 1, 2 and 3 as the LEDs that will control the traffic flow. So how does a pedestrian crossing work? Well, if no one has pressed the button, it simply lets the traffic continue to pass by staying on green whilst showing a red man to the pedestrian. That's your starting condition. If the button is pressed, it then goes through a sequence of changes that makes the traffic stop, tells the pedestrians that they can go, then tells the pedestrians to stop, and then lets the traffic continue moving. See if you can figure this out, and if you get it right, show your teacher.